Hi guys, Dean here again. Um, this is a video to go through the um, record store day stuff from Saturday, just gone. Um, wasn't going to actually do it this year, but um, I think I woke up around four o'clock in the morning thinking, no, I'm not going to bother, I'm not going to queue up in the cold. Um, this year around, there was nothing really major that I wanted to get my hands onto. Um, probably buy the Foo Fighters and the White Stripes, the rest of the bits and bobs I thought I'll pick up normally just during the day. So I went back to sleep, half an hour later woke up and thought, yeah, I'm going to have to do this. So off I trotted, got to the record store about 5.30 in the morning, um, and queued up for about four hours until I actually managed to get into the shop. Um, but I pretty much got everything I wanted, bar there was a little Moomin 7 inch, which um, I think they had about 900 pressed, but 450 of those 900 seemed to have been um, shipped elsewhere. Record company finders keepers have no idea where they've gone. Um, so I think a few of the guys, the Moomin, the Liberation um, team, managed to get a few around to certainly a few shops in Yorkshire and Lancashire, um, which is where I'm based. So, um, but there were only three at my record store. Um, by the time I'd realised anything else, that pretty much gone anywhere anywhere else. So, anyway. I digress. Um, let's get through um, a couple of bits. First of all, actually, I just want to make um, a note of these. I picked up um, the new Tori Amos reissues. I've been looking for um, a copy of Little Earthquakes, the original, for a while now. And um, you know, every time I see it in the wild or if I see it on eBay, it never seems to be um, in great condition or there seems to be an issue with the cover. Um, I'm trying to cut down my eBay purchasing as well now. I just don't trust. Lot of the people on eBay, which will lead me on to something else in a minute. Um, so, as soon as I realised the reissues were coming out, I sort of popped in one of these. Um, so, this is um, pretty much a duplicate of the original as far as the back and the cover goes. Um, it does come with um, a replica of the uh, Atlantic label, the green and orange, um, but it does actually come with. Um, that already. A new insert, so there's a picture on there. It's basically going through, I think it's an interview with her from um, 2014, um, basically about the album. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Half Speed Master um, at Abbey Road Studios actually. Um, 180 gram vinyl. It does sound really, really good. I've just played it actually just before doing the, um, the previous video. Um, sounds fantastic. I did have the original on vinyl. Um, first time round, uh, and I'd say it's on par from memory, if not better. Um, and certainly for the price, I think it was about uh, 18 or 20 pounds. So uh, certainly a lot cheaper than buying the original on eBay. So, so yeah, definitely if you like uh, Tori Amos and you haven't got a copy of Little Earthquakes, check it out. It's a um, fantastic album. Um, and obviously when I was uh, at it, they uh, did Under the Pink as well, so I've got that. And again... Same setup, um, new inner picture with uh, again a breakdown of the uh, the songs on there. Um, again, I think from 2014 as well. Yeah. Um, so again, that's nice to get some backstory really on the songs and what they meant. Um, again, copy the red. Atlantic label, which um, I've never had a copy of this originally on vinyl, so um, I'm not sure about this one. But again, Half Speed Master Cut, Abbey Road Studios. Not listened to this one yet, but uh, if it's half as good as the uh, Little Earthquakes one, it should be a cracker. So, yeah, Tori Amis under the pink. Right, so uh, let's get down to the uh, record store day stuff. Uh, first of all, picked up the uh, Dire Straits Honky Tonk Demos. Um, which was a double gatefold 7 inch which um, basically includes uh, the Sultans of Swing, Water of Love, Down to the Waterline and the Wild West End. Um, I think these were the original demos um, that they were sending out to would it be record companies and so forth. Um, I think this individual um, demo was actually one that was sent to uh, Charlie Gillett, um, who's basically a radio DJ that obviously 
played dive straights a lot and championed um, their work. But yeah, it's a double um, seven inch. Yeah, nice little package. Um, wasn't too badly priced either. Um, but I'm a big Mark Knopfler fan, dive straights fan as well. So thought that'd be something nice. It's not something that's available elsewhere as far as I'm aware. So. Yeah, good one to have. Um, one that I mentioned already was the Foo Fighters. Yeah, I'm really glad to have this. Um, nice four track EP. Um, really well priced as well. I think it was like seven ninety nine, eight pounds, and you know for record store day. I don't know whether it's just because Dave Grohl was, um, you know, the master of the record store day this year, where he, you know, had some influence over the pricing of this. But it's um, a really, really nice package as well. Um, but yeah, so can't grumble for eight pounds on that one. Um, another ten inch was the garbage, the chemicals with uh, Brian O'Bear, and B side is on fire. Um, and this is on a lovely sort of ready orange vinyl. Um, I picked up the um, the garbage one last year actually, so that's why. Uh, yeah, so that's why I um, ended up picking up this year's. Um, I think it's Brody Dahl that um, collaborated on last year's garbage one, so um, I was really impressed with that. Big fan of garbage over the years, so yeah, good to have that one. Nice little package. Um, it wasn't cheap though, I think that was like £16, which is like. I was just picking stuff up that I wanted and wasn't really bothered about the price till it came down to paying for it. But um, Courtney Barnett, Kim's Caravan. Um, recently mentioned the uh, double orange vinyl of her latest album. Uh, sometimes I sit and think, and sometimes I just sit. Um, and I thought I'd pick this one up as well. I thought, for some reason, I got it in my head there were two tracks on this that were non album tracks, but it was just the one. Um, again, not badly priced, but the most annoying thing about this was there is no inner sleeve. It's just literally vinyl on cardboard. Um, I'm assuming they're all like this, and it's not just me that's got one, but um, it's a slight annoyance. But I'll get it clean and I'll stick it in the sleeve. But um, you know, I think her album is fantastic, so it'd be nice to have the uh, the extra track there. Um, next one. Is uh, Biffy Clyro puzzle, which I think is the first time on vinyl. Um, maybe mistaken there, but pretty sure. But this is a really, really nice um, package. Whole thing, gatefold, um, picture sleeves all the way around. Really, really excellent package. Not listened to this yet, so I can't comment on the uh, audio quality. Um, but if the uh, package is anything to go by, I'm sure this is going to sound superb. I really love this album, so happy to get this. But I think I think there were plenty of these to go around, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a general release later on down the line. There was wasn't any RSD stickers or anything like that on it, so I don't know if it's an exclusive RSD release. But yeah, stoked to have that one. Um, this one up for my partner, which is the Florence and the Machine, uh, which is what kind of man, and as far as I could get, um, apologies for that noise, I hate, I hate that noise on videos, but, um, but just wanted to show you, this one comes in a sleeve, the, uh, the vinyl on this, she was very impressed by the colour and I think yeah it's a lovely colour baby blue. Sounds really nice as well. Listen to that one. So um, yeah, that was a good one to have. Um, yeah, she wanted the Moomins as well, but um, sadly uh, Moomins have gone astray. Um, next was the uh, Doors. Strange Days Mono Edition. Um, 
I'm not sure if this ever came out originally on mono. Um, and if it didn't, it should have done because it sounds fantastic. Um, this was done by Rhino, I believe. Um, yeah, it's a numbered edition, 11960. So, yeah, yeah, there's quite a few of those hanging around. I think a lot of stores still have this in stock. So, um, I recommend if you haven't heard a mono version of this to pick it up because I was really impressed by it. Really, really good quality. Um, nice quiet vinyl, but really packs a punch. Um, straight away from Strange Days um, to when the music's over at the end, but can't recommend it highly enough. That was one of my, as much as I wanted it, you know, it's one of the things I like the doors, and um, it was probably my surprise purchase that one, as far as unexpected quality goes. Um, and last, out of the uh, record store day stuff was again another mono which was Deep Purple's The Book of Taliesin Got mono label there uh, again this is a nice gatefold um, yes uh, it's the second album I believe from them um, before obviously Ian Gillen joined the band as well uh, but it was um, yeah, you can. It's, it's definitely Deep Purple, as most people know. Deep Purple. Um, got a couple of covers on there. You've got Kentucky Woman by Neil Diamond. You've got River Deep Mountain High. Not that it really resembles much of the original. Um, and a bit of Beatles thrown in there, and we can work it out as part of track four with exposition. Um, yeah, again, another quiet pressing. Um, yeah, just really sounds good on mono. Um, I've I don't think I've, I haven't got this on vinyl, so I've not heard the stereo version um, to compare it with, but I know it's relatively cheap to pick up anyway. Um, so I probably will get a stereo version at some point anyway to compare it to, but yeah, the mono version sounds good. So, um, yeah, the only other thing I've got which um, I did want to show actually, wanted to get it into a video, I wasn't moaning or anything else. Um, was the White Stripes Get Behind Me Satan, which was the double uh, LP, one red vinyl, one white vinyl, the lenticular sleeve, which is um, really, really nice. Had a copy in my hands, took it back to the record store today, um, hoping they were going to get some more stocks in of that. They didn't completely out. So, um, the problem with the second disc was a um, pressing issue. Um, massive blob of vinyl on track one so the needle would have hit that and skipped god knows where and then on the final track on side uh, C, side A of disc two massive troughs just literally like a big chunk of vinyl had been lifted out of it so you've got <laughs> hills and valleys on that it's just crazy um, so yeah completely unplayable which is a real shame um, that was basically number two on my must have list um, for queuing after four hours so I was a bit annoyed um, not the record store's fault United Pressing's fault and um, a few people in the VC have sort of shown their um, disgruntledness at uh, United and to be honest I've never had any issues at all I mean I've got a few bits from White Stripes I've got a um, both Jack White albums I've got a few singles and you know, I've got a few bits and bobs here and there and they've all been fine um, the only issue I had with the Lazaretto album, I think, was just needing, you know, pumping up the volume a bit. But so really annoyed at this one. Hopefully, I've just seen today that um, the store in Manchester has them in stock still. Um, I can't get to Manchester um, during the week, so you know, I'm hoping that one of my colleagues who works in office over in Manchester can nip out tomorrow lunchtime and pick me one up. Um, and it's cheaper as well than my local record store. Um, Otherwise, I'm just going to be in the queue with probably a few other people um, come 12.01 on Friday at night, Saturday morning, to uh, get an online order in. So, um, so yeah, so a bit annoying really. It's, 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 you know, there was only two discs really I wanted. The others were nice purchases to have. Um, I managed to miss out on it. So hopefully, cross fingers, he can um, get the one tomorrow. And um, if he does, I'll show that because it was such a really nice package. Um, so it's a shame not to have it really so um, yeah I think that's it um, that's all I wanted to show 
Um, just one last thing. Uh, I've hit 100 subscribers. Um, so really, really happy with that. Um, thanks to you guys out there. Um, I've only been doing videos since September um, of last year, so it's not taking too long really. I'm about 107, 108 I think now. So I will be doing a competition video shortly, but probably won't be until either later this week or the weekend that goes out. Um, got a few bits and bobs to dish out for prizes, um, and I know, know, I know what the competition is going to be, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So as I say, hopefully by Sunday evening at the latest, that'll be online. Um, but all I can say is thanks again to everybody in the BC. Um, you guys know who you are, always comment. Um, Rob Paniques, um, absolute legend, um, seems to comment on every video, I don't know where he finds the time, um, but yeah, always nice to hear from Rob, um, always nice to hear from Armian as well, Audio File Laws, um, Tudor as well, um, yeah, Vinyl Fury, there's so many guys out there that um, continually provide comments um, and feedback, um, and you know, it's such a great, you know, part of being in the VC. So um, yeah, so my thanks will go out to those um, in more depth on the next video um, when we do the 100 subscribers video. Till then, uh, watch long enough, um, get back to listen to some music um, and we'll see you guys soon. Cheers, bye.